Her Spirit is a four-star D-Cell Binder supporter. She's available from both headhunting and recruitment using the tags Ranged, Slow, and Supporter. Keep in mind, you're more likely to get the three-star Supporter Orchid using those tags than you are Earth Spirit. Earth Spirit, real name Glacier Wagony, has no combat experience whatsoever, likely because she primarily works as a catastrophe messenger and geologist. She stands at 161 centimeters tall, was born on the 5th of April in Lithenian, and is of the Capernet race, specifically a gazelle. In her archive files, it's noted that Earth Spirit is a dedicated and professional operator, who approaches her work with intense focus and a commitment to balance. Known for her meticulous research and steadfast work ethic, she maintains a strict schedule, even as an infected, valuing her personal lifestyle. Though over time may prompt some eye-rolling and a hefty bonus, her expertise and determination make her an invaluable asset to Rhodes Island. Earth Spirit's passion for geology began in school, where she viewed studying soil and rocks as key to understanding the history of the land. Specializing in field surveys, she excels in analyzing terrain, from formations to potential dangers, making her an expert in the field. Though she never imagined applying her knowledge in battle, her skills have proven invaluable in unexpected ways. Her spirit became infected while collecting originum samples, but she remains indifferent to her condition, trusting her treatment and focusing on her work. To fund her research, she offers early catastrophe warnings, earning her the title of Herald of Catastrophe, though she insists it's just a side job. She's friends with Province, another Herald and Rhodes Island operator, and occasionally mentors Aefiala in volcanology. Despite her infection, her spirit remains dedicated to advancing geological studies and supporting others in the field. Her spirit claims the Originum Honor Staff speaks to her, a once unintelligible chatter that has become partially comprehensible since joining Rhodes Island. Though unnerved, she relies on her staff's custom enhanced Lithuanian arts and sonar projection for geological surveys, leaving her no choice but to tolerate the voice. As no one else hears it, treatment for potential stress-related tinnitus might be warranted. Her spirit is confirmed to be infected. She has a cell originum assimilation of 14% and a blood originum crystal density of 0.31 parts per liter. The notes in her medical file state that Earth Spirit has lesioned arms with crystal formations and that her infection is entering mid-stage, but it is still manageable. It is also possible that Earth Spirit is schizophrenic since she claims to hear voices from the original crystal in her staff. In her character art, drawn by Hug, Earth Spirit wears a black, quilted sweater and light gray shorts underneath a black overcoat with tall, button-up collar, red shoulder pads, and multiple red and light gray straps hanging off of it. Black thigh highs with more red straps, some red triangle hair clips, white gloves, and gray and black combat boots. She holds her staff, which has the aforementioned red originum crystal, and black horns in her right hand. In her voice lines, voiced by Aoe Yuki, who also voices Iris in Pokemon, Rivaloon and Raika in Ryuru Yuri, Komachi Hikigaya in Teen Romcom Snafu, Diane in Seven Deadly Sins, Yuki Kono in Sword Art Online, Tatsumaki in One Punch Man, Clementine in Overlord, Su Usui in My Hero Academia, Boar in Quadrupleless Gridman, Boogie Pop in Boogie Pop, Kotatsi Tamaki in Fire Force, Tanya von Degurachov in Tanya the Evil, Noria Dunak in Witch from Mercury, Yuzuru Nishimiya in A Silent Voice, Sayaka Natori in Your Name, Taylor Bartlett in Violet Evergarden, Platinum the Trinity in Blaz Blue, Anila, Mina Levin, Mona Levin, and Mena Levin in Grand Blue Fantasy, Okita Soji, Shoten Doji, Ibuki Doji, Ganesha, and Tiamat in Fate Grand Order, Futaba Sakura in Persona 5, Pascal in Near Automata, Manat in Street Fighter 5, Finch in Xenoblade Chronicles 2, M1918 Bar in Girls Frontline, Taiho in Azure Lane, Lumine in Genshin, 
and Fiona in Xenoblade Chronicles 3, her spirit often talks of geology and other related subjects. もちろん武器にもなるし、地質調査用の道具でもあるわ。とっても便利なのよ。もしロドスに出会わなかったら、私はまだ地質調査員をやってたのかも。いえ、多分私はもうこの世にはいないわね。石の中には話しかけてくる
barely increases her slow duration, a generic S1 that just gives her more attack, and an S2 that stops her from attacking outright just so she can slow down enemies at a slightly faster rate than her attacking. She does have partial saving grace in the form of her module, which makes her slow last up to 1.5 or 1.53 seconds, but it's not worth it at all to get her to E2 level 40 just for a module to make her slow last for a bit longer. Suzeron, and I know it's not fair to compare a 6 star to a 4 star, just does it so much better with her S3 and her DEC-Y module, since her S3 does stop her from attacking, but also weakens enemies and heals allies. Don't raise Earth Spirit at all, even if you're a new player and just got her, since she's really not worth your time, effort, or resources. Thank you for watching. Please follow my Twitter and Blue Sky for updates, and please check out my other Azure Lane and Girls Frontline videos as well. There will be a teaser out tomorrow for next week's character summaries.